Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another exciting video. So today we have a thrilling showdown between three of the AI powered coding assistants that are revolutionizing the way developers write code. So it will be a comparison video between AWS Code Whisper, GitHub Copilot, and our new Tab9 AI assistants. So yeah, in this video, we'll find out the differences, similarity, and we'll see a quick comparison with respect to the real life problem solving and how each of the tool provide suggestions or code completions and also at the end i'll provide you with my verdict on which of the tool is best for you guys based on your need and based on your productivity so yeah without further ado let's find out so before we dive into the comparison let's briefly introduce each of the ai assistants so first of all we have the aws code whisper that is developed by Amazon Web Services in April 2023. So Code Whisper aims to enhance your coding productivity with smart code suggestions and optimizations. And also it helps uh, to leverage powerful machine learning algorithms for you guys as well. Uh, so next we have the GitHub Copilot that is of quite a famous and you can say well-known tool in the world of AI. And it was developed in a collaboration between GitHub and OpenAI in October 2021 first. So GitHub Copilot basically utilizes the GPT language model to generate entire lines of code and functions based on the natural language descriptions. So the last one we have is the Tab9 AI assistance. Tab9 is basically first developed uh, in Fab 2023 for the assistance for the software developers that can basically anticipate code uh, to be written for specific apps and files. And Tab9 is known for its vast language support and contact aware code completions making it a go-to tool for developers worldwide all right so now we'll see all of these tools with the help of a real life demonstration by solving daily life problems or real life scenarios just to compare between these three and see which one is the most efficient and which one is the most convenient to use so yeah first of all we'll see the working of the aws code whisper with the help of a real life example so yeah first of all i'm just gonna type your example to write a program that print the largest element in a list so yeah, let's just go ahead and see the suggestion of this code. All right, yeah, as you guys can see, so it did provide all the suggestions of the code without a problem, like a charm. So let's just go ahead and see the output of that now. So as you guys can see, so it provided me the largest element as 10, which is absolutely right. Seeing our list over in here. So if you can also see that with the help of one another example. So this time I'll be prompting AWS Code Whisper to write me a program that generates a random password with a specific length. So in this code, I'll be providing a specific length as an input. And after that, it will generate a strong password for me using different numbers, special characters, and including letters as well. So let's just go ahead and try to run this one now. Okay, so it seems like our code has been completed as well. So if you can go ahead and try to run this. So first of all, it will ask me to enter the length of the passwords. So over here, I'll enter the length as four. And yeah, as you guys can see, so it did provide a password for me using different numbers, characters, and alphabets as well. So yeah, this was basically the working of the AWS Code Whisper. So if you can go ahead and try to see the working of GitHub Copilot now, just to see how efficient and how good it is. Okay, so in GitHub Copilot, first of all, for the first example, I'll be prompting it to create a multiplication table from 1 to 10. So let's just see the suggestion of this prompt now. Okay, so seems like our code has been completed. So if you can go ahead and try to run this. Yeah, as you guys can see, it provided all the multiplication table for me from one to 10. So yeah, it is working absolutely fine. So if you can go ahead and do one more example, just a little bit of a more complex one to see like whether it's working perfect for us or not. So this time I'll be prompting him to create me a project like a bank management project, which will actually hold uh, the account number, account name, and all the account information that it will provide me at the end in the form of the output. So let's just go ahead and try to run that project for me. So yeah, it seems like our code has been completed. So if you can go ahead and try to run this. So yeah, it's showing me the output as one to Two, three, four, which is basically the account number written over here. Then we have 1500, which is our account balance. Then we have 1300, which was basically the balance after we deposited 200 from our account. And after that, at the end, we have the check balance from. So that will be 1300 at the end. So yeah, as you guys can see, by using GitHub Copilot, we can now uh, not only do simple code, but we can also use that to help us do like a bit of a more complex and intermediate projects for our use. So yeah, now let's just go ahead and see our last tool, which was Tab9 AI Assistance. So yeah, that would actually be uh, creating a YouTube video downloader using the power of Tab9 AI Assistance. So Tab9 is basically a very intelligent coding assistant that can 
significantly speed up the development process and it can also offer you valuable suggestions as we write code so let's just start on building our youtube video downloader so yeah first of all as you guys can see over here we'll create a new directory for our project and initialize a new python project we'll use python for this example since it's a very versatile and widely used programming language so after that uh, we'll import the required libraries for our youtube video downloader so to download a youtube video obviously uh, we need to get the url from the user so we'll add some code to the prompt the user for the video url and after that we'll use the pytube library to download the video and after that uh, we'll simply put these uh, certain prompts that have been shown to you on the screen So yeah, now our YouTube video downloader is complete. So now let's just go ahead and test it by downloading a YouTube video. So yeah, there we have it. With the help of Tab9 AI system, we have built a very efficient and a very simple but functional YouTube video downloader in Python. So Tab9's intelligent suggestions have made the coding process smoother and it has made that more efficient. So yeah, at the end, Tab9 is undoubtedly uh, the best tool in the market, which is revolutionizing coding with its AI-powered tool and completions. And it has no doubt made the development faster and more enjoyable than ever before. Next one, if we see some of the theoretical uh, differences and similarities between two of these tools. So yeah, here is a feature comparison chart between AWS Code Whisper, GitHub Copilot, and Tab9 AI Assistance. So first of all, if you're gonna see developer platforms, so obviously AWS Code Whisper was developed by AWS, GitHub Copilot was developed by GitHub, and Tab9 is the standalone development. And if you talk about the core functionality of this tool, so yeah, AWS helps us uh, mainly in code suggestions, GitHub Copilot helps us in code generation, and tab 9 with the code completions and yet the ai model of these tools are ml model for the aws code whisper gvt 3.5 language model for the github copilot and ml model again for the tab 9 ai assistance and if you see about the language support so yeah uh, the aws is very limited if you talk about the language support and the github copilot is quite extensive uh, it supports quite a few languages that are available in software development world and then tab 9 is also quite a bit extensive so yeah learning capability is very limited again in aws code whisper in github and tab 9 it is quite a bit of constant improvement and yes same goes for the integration as well and if you talk about the code context awareness so very moderate in aws again and high in copilot and tab 9 so pricing is basically uh the aws code whisper is subscription based same goes for the github copilot but if you talk about the tab 9 ai assistance it is free of cost you don't need to pay anything and you can use tab 9 assistance without paying anything just right away all right so here was a few of the comparison of the features of three of the tools that we are talking about today so yeah if you guys are limited to the languages of your code so this is quite a bit of a good chart that you can take help from so yeah if you talk about python so python is supported by all uh, three tools you don't need to worry about going to any of this tool so if you talk about the javascript so it is also uh supported by all three tools and typescript it isn't supported by the aws code whisper but you can use GitHub Copilot and Tab9 Assistant for that. Same goes for Ruby, Go, C Hash, and C++. And then if you talk about Java, so Java is supported by AWS Code Whisper and only Tab9 AI Assistance. So yeah, with the help of this chart, like you can go for any of the tool depending upon the language you are using for your code. And yeah, if you move further, so here are the code editor support that you need to know if you are opting for any of this tool. So yeah, if you want to use the VS Code or JetBrains IDE, so you can use any of the tool from this column. And if you are using Visual Studio or Neomim, so you can only go for the GitHub Copilot and Tab 9, and for the AWS Cloud 9 and AWS Lambda, so obviously for that you are only limited to the AWS Code Whisper. So yeah, in conclusion, all three AI assistants have very unique strengths that can enhance your coding experience. Uh, basically, AWS Code Whisper excels in providing code suggestions, while GitHub Copilot's code generation capabilities are very impressive as well. And if you talk about Tab9 AI assistance, its context aware completions are a huge plus for developers as well. So yeah, in my verdict, if I can tell you guys my opinion, so yeah, if you talk about uh, the Tab9, it is very fast, very efficient, and it basically works like a charm. There was basically no such problems or errors that I found in my code while using Tab9. And it is also very easy to use in your IDE. And by using Tab9, you can basically upgrade your development process to a whole 
whole new level. So yeah, let us know in the comments which AI assistant caught your attention to the most. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.